story spectacular. Today's show is titled Fly Home, Birdie. If you enjoy this episode, remember to subscribe to the podcast on iTunes. Who wants a story? Welcome to Story Spectacular. I'm your host, Angie. Today, we're going to hear a story about my dear friend, Birdie. We will also learn about the four seasons, spring, summer, fall, and winter. Let's begin our story now. Fly home, Birdie. This is Birdie. She's a bird, of course, and a very dear friend. Birdie lives in a house in my backyard. I feed Birdie a little bird snack every day. In the summertime, the weather is warm and Birdie is quite comfortable at home in my backyard. There are lots of things for her to eat, like bugs, berries, and seeds. Sometimes we have a picnic together under the warm summer sun. I brought some strawberries to the picnic to share. Birdie brought a worm to share, but I said, no thank you. After the summer comes the fall season. The fall air feels cool and crisp. Birdie and I like to play in the colorful leaves. Sometimes I bring her some warm bird tea made from twigs and roots. In the fall, all the plants and animals in my backyard prepare to hunker down for a long rest. This is called hibernation. Soon there will not be any bugs, berries, or seeds in my yard for Birdie to eat. It's time for Birdie to fly south before cold, snowy weather arrives. Goodbye, Birdie! See you in the spring! Birdie has a long, long journey. All along the way, she meets other birds who are flying south too. She sees little red birds and blue birds, and she even sees great big geese flying in a V-shaped formation. They like to make loud honking noises. Birdie flies over far-reaching fields and forests, rolling hills, and sky-high mountains. She crosses lakes and streams and even the ocean. Finally, Birdie reaches a warm tropical island. On the island, there are different kinds of tropical fruits and insects for her to eat. This is where Birdie stays for the winter season. She even has a few bird friends on the island. Lori is a colorful parrot. She and Birdie like to share pomegranates and drink their fruity, delicious juice. Lori and Birdie even like to do a little bird dancing while their friend Rufus the Hummingbird hums a little tune. I miss Birdie very much in the winter. Out my window, I can see snowflakes falling from the sky. There are icicles hanging off my roof. The trees are bare of all their leaves and their branches are frozen over. My backyard is covered with lots of snow. It is very cold. But soon, the snow and ice begin to melt. Flowers begin to bloom. The animals and plants slowly awaken from their long winter's rest. It's spring. Birdie should be flying back home soon. But wait, I'm starting to feel some raindrops. It looks like we're about to have a rain shower. I hope Birdie can find her way back through the dark rain clouds and fog. Maybe we should sing her a song. That way, if she hears us singing, she will be able to find her way back home. Ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-da-boom, won't you 
fly home, dear birdie, won't you fly home? You've been away too long. Won't you fly home, little birdie, won't you fly home? I feed you all day long. We'll have a sunny picnic under the tree. We'll sing sweet music and shoot the breeze. Hey, birdie, thanks for flying. Birdie, thanks for flying. Birdie, thanks for flying home. Birdie, you found your way back home. I missed you so much. Say, the rain has gone away and the sun is coming out. Why don't we have ourselves a picnic? No worms for me, thank you. Don't you just love picnics? It's fun to share things with family and friends, like Story Spectacular. We're a brand new show, so tell someone you know. If you like the podcast, tell a friend and share on social media. Stories are always more fun when you can talk about them with your friends. And speaking of friends, I think I see another friend headed our way. It's time for Fun Facts with Tildy the Tortoise. Tildy is a tortoise. She is one of the oldest living creatures on the planet. She's traveled all around the world and has seen many, many things. She's here with us today to share three fun facts. Isn't that right, Tildy? That is correct, Angie. I've been all around and seen just about everything there is to see. Today I have some fun facts about birds. Fact 1. We know that birds can fly long distances, but did you know that birds have the ability to fly really fast? In fact, the peregrine falcon can fly over 240 miles per hour. Wow, that's faster than most sports cars. Fact 2. Many birds can talk to each other with songs and calls. Even a chicken can make at least 24 distinct sounds to communicate with other chickens. Fact 3. Birds certainly are clever creatures. Some can even use tools. There are birds that hold sharp stones in their beaks and use them to crack open nutshells. Kinda like using a hammer. Other birds will use a twig like a spear to hunt for bugs. Wow, those are some pretty clever birds. They are indeed, Angie. If I ever see a bird using a power tool to build its nest, I'll be sure to come back and let you know. Sounds good to me, Tildy. Come back again soon to share even more fun facts. Goodbye, young ones. What a fun show! We heard about Birdie and her incredible journey. We also learned some fun facts about birds from our friend Tildy the Tortoise. I think birds are really neat. Story Spectacular Story Spectacular is written and hosted by Angela Ferrari. To learn more about the show and to purchase original children's books, go to storyspectacular.com. Did you enjoy this episode? Don't miss a single story. Subscribe to the podcast on iTunes. While you're there, you can leave a rating and review. This helps get the word out to others who may want to listen to spectacular stories too. Thanks for listening. Goodbye, young ones. <laughs>